Go ahead. Uh, you know, I just want to just give Harper, you know, all the credit. I mean, they out, they put us in every outplay us in every phase of the game, and um, we got out coached, and they were they had energy and hustle, and they're better offensively, defensively, they're better at the X, they're better wing play. So, um, you know, I just give them a lot of credit for really coming out. Uh, and, and really taking it to us. So, you know, credit to their coaching staff and their players. They did a great job. Um, you know, I obviously think, you know, we're a little disappointed with the way we started. Uh, we're pretty much chasing the whole game. So we, we got to figure out a way to come out a little bit stronger. And, um, you know, we just got to be better in a lot of different places. We got to be better defensively, uh, not letting those guys, you know, kind of dictate the pace of the game. Uh, I think offensively, again, we had 22 turnovers and, and we were not great in the clearing game. So that really continues to be an Achilles heel for us. And, um, you know, we're going to have to either continue to work it and, and get better at it, or we're going to have to look and make some changes in the lineup because we just turned the ball over too high, too high a clip. And when you play good teams, uh, you can't win those type of games. So we'll certainly address it and we'll try to get better and we'll hopefully learn from it. And uh, we got a big one next week. and. You know, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of see how, how the team responds. Uh, as you know, this game can often be defined by the different ebbs and flows when that's what's going yep. to uh, 3-0 start for Hartford to come out, and then the fourth quarter, similar run. How do you think your team handled that? Um, I, I don't think we had composure all day. Um, we, we just we, we went off sides. We had too many men. We you know took shots that were outside of our range and turned from opportunities for us to score for their goals. and. You know, Hartford was very opportunistic, and they, and they did a great job. And um, you know, lacrosse is a game of runs, and, and certainly they they were able to, with their face-off play and their goalie play, they were able to kind of put that together. And every time we tried to press out and make a play, you know, they, they made us pay for it. So credit to their to their team. In a similar vein, as you guys are coming out of halftime, it's only a seven-four deficit, yeah. definitely manageable. Yeah. Um, what was the message? Trying to take some of the positives from the first half. And yeah, we, we just wanted to make one play at a time and get back in the game. And you know, they they ended up, you know, we end up throwing the clear away and they get the open net goal. And you know, there's just some really backbreaking goals where, where we had opportunities to score, and we you know we end up either throwing the ball to the goalie stick and they fast break us for a goal and. Um, you know, I, I didn't think we handled their transition very well. I didn't think we, we made some uncharacteristic poor decisions, and we just gave them. You know, I don't. You know, Christian didn't have many saves, but I, I don't really think it was on him because every shot was right on top of him. We we got to do a better job in front of him. So the message was just kind of get back in the game and, and make one play at a time. And we got up to eight six, and I felt pretty good about it. You know, going into that third, uh, at the end of the third, and you know, then they come out and they get the first two, and, and that made it really tough.